everyone. Traffic jam building up now. There's just ambulance just gone by. <sighs> Traffic jam building up. then folks been over again done a bit more done a bit more exploring discovered more now I'm going up the long tiny lane towards a plantation and Hutton Woods it's going to take me time and then I've got plenty of time to get one of the buses. Obviously, it'd be awful to have to wait an hour. I'd have to sort of um, do something for an hour because I mean, you'd be in a village, you'd stand in there. And of course, if you miss it, you'd have to walk back like you did before, which wasn't nice. because it was very noisy with cars. Anyway, I'm going to be going up here then. That's part of Banwell Woods. Mainly private, but you're, there is some access. You can walk to the tower. And in, in many ways you can walk around the tracks and into the fields. And there are some walks signposted. Um, so, basically... It is a, a, a nice little afternoon walk out if you felt bored or whatever. You could actually... There we go, somebody coming. Right, I'll let them go. I'm going to go and wait on this stile. Oh. I don't know if they live here or what. I'll wait here. There. Right, so I'm going to turn off now. Somebody coming with two children. I'll have a drink of water. One small video then. I am in Hutton Woods now. And uh, I, I love coming in here. So I thought... I was just trying to think what the best route is on the way home now. And so I've decided to go down to Hutton because I need to test the ground all the time. Um, check where these buses are coming from. I want to get the five o'clock. It's about up past three now. Um, gives me an hour and a half. Uh, it's not really far, but the thing is, it's slippery going downhill. I don't want to rush either. So, uh, I don't want to rush. Stop a minute. Right, carrying on with the video. It was very small, that last one. It could have only lasted 30 seconds. I will join it on. I just want to take some pictures of um, those protectors around trees there. I'd like to see them in our wood. That shows care. That shows care. There's loads of them scattered about. 
Yeah, it's going to be real mushroom time, fungi time, coming up in September. <sighs> yeah, fungi time. That's um, over Stockland forest wood. They have those uh, poisonous red ones. I can't remember what they're called now, but I know they're very, very poisonous. So you can see loads of these in through there, all over the place. I probably haven't been over here since oh, early July, June. In fact, when I last did that um, Banwell bit, I came this way anyway. I walked the whole way there and back. <sighs> yeah. Look at that. That's a lovely scene, isn't it? All so good for photos as well. <sighs> I've got so many scenes of photos. I'm still going uphill. I'm still a bit breathless at the moment. So I'm, uh, I should be right soon. We're nearly up the hill now. By the time we get to that gap there, I reckon we'll be level. I wasn't going to do any videoing of ground I've been on a thousand times, but uh, we've got an early autumn now because the weather has been so peculiar. Very, very fierce storms. Very fierce winds. Um, the trees have lost many leaves through severe wind and heavy rain. Um, but they're perking up again. They look quite good in here, actually. Not so good in western woods anymore. They're starting to look brown and sad, the trees over there. I tell you, it's a horrible place to visit. I'm going to something to go elsewhere. I still go up there just to keep an eye on the ones that... I know are going to be slaughtered and no one's doing anything about it and nobody cares. That's what I think. So I'm just doing a little bit, folks. Um, I'm going to turn off now, actually. Just be coming up to a gate in a minute, and then after the gate, we'll be going into the last bit of the wood. Because it's half past three, but there'll be a bus at four. I won't make it for that. I don't want to, because it'd be mean big rush. So I can slow up a bit now. It only takes five minutes to walk through the wood. It's 15.34. I've got an hour and a half exactly. So I can now ease up a bit. See, the alternative was me to carry on walking past the golf course, go to Bleeden and get the number 20. They come every half an hour, whereas the Hutton one only comes once every hour. Right, I've got to try and get in here, haven't I? Let's see. Right, put that there. Okay. Let's just see how we put it in. Wow, I did it quite easily. I'm quite surprised. I've struggled in there before. I've lost some weight. Or I just my techniques got better. <sighs> now 
The only thing that's going down to Hutton it hurts your toes going downhill. <sighs> really does. <sighs> I think I'm still videoing everyone. So here we've got Hutton Woods. Just a section of it. There's loads over there. But us ordinary people aren't allowed in them. So, as far as I'm concerned, this is, this is Hutton Woods here. As far as I know, we're not allowed in there, but there could be some paths that I don't know about. Um, which I might try and explore another time. For now, this is a, a, way, a route. I'm, usually I'm on my way somewhere else. And I use these woods. They're good for shelter in all seasons. Good for shelter. There's a nice scene over there. And there's a little squirrel jumping and hopping. There's a nice little scene through those trees there. Just seen a squirrel. He's busy jumping up that oak tree. Happy as larks. <sighs> yeah, I've seen this. I've been coming in here throughout the year. Before the lockdown, a couple of days before the lockdown, I did a massive walk. I walked the whole route. Um, I walked from Weston. I can't remember exactly what the route was now, but I, I think I went all the way by the River Axe. All the way uphill. And near Canada Coombe through air, down to Hutton, across the old airfield of Lockin, all the way along to Asda. Went and did some shopping in Asda to try and find toilet roll because there was a shortage. <sighs> Remember that everyone? The toilet roll shortage? And then I um, walked home. That was a, like an eight, nine hour walk. It was a big one. No bus. They weren't, we couldn't use the buses. That's what I fear now. So I've been, I've been putting a few big walks in. Keeping the legs strong. I'm turning off to take pictures of the lovely trees. This will be the final video as I come down through the muddy, quagmire hillside down to Hutton where, because I will be early for the bus, I will go round the church way. So this was just going straight down, to uh, further down to the road. I go round where the church is and then round to see if I can see any alternative bus stops as well. Um, and when I come over on a five another time, I'm just going to stay on the five until it reaches its last stop to see where it goes. Because it might not even stop. That bus stop I do know, it might not stop there. You know? But a lot of people say, oh, I don't know, I drive. So then I think it's up, you know, do you know what I mean? They, you, it's no good thinking, they have to know, because otherwise you, they put people at a lot of discomfort. <sighs> right, this year in 2020, Hutton Woods has seen a lot of me, and I do know there are other ways that you can probably walk here. The golf course is just up there, and I'm going down, it's going to be very slippery, so I probably won't video for long, but I've got a feeling there is a type of way up there, and there's a couple of paths actually in the wood, but this is now going to be very risky, because I haven't got a stick, um, I haven't got a stick. And the water gushes down there when it rains, see? Turns the leaves all slippery. 
This isn't the worst bit. It's further down where you've got the, the rocks. Where the rocks are very, very slippery is what, on top of the mud. Uh, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Nobody out. Nobody out today. Of course, if it does get a bit too close, I might not be able to do the church way. I'm just hoping the bus does stop at that bus stop I've seen. That it goes round Hutton a bit and sort of comes out. I hope so. The idea of doing the church bit is there could be another bus stop, which would be an indication that the bus goes further into the village on the way out as well, comes back that way. Because the last thing I want to do is see a bus go by in the distance because it didn't come down the road, I was waiting for it. And then there's a whole hour, it's not half an hour, all the other buses are half an hour. And there's only, the last bus is just after six o'clock. I want to get the five o'clock one. It's, a, it's just after five, I'm not sure exactly if it's six minutes or five minutes past. Anyway, so this is Hutton Woods. It's seen a lot of me in 2020. I've used it a lot as a way of getting to different areas. Um, and I started to use a number five when the buses became accessible to get out here. Because um, I mean, I could come this way to see to go to Crook's Peak, uh, that, you know, if I wanted to walk that way. Um, and if I don't always want to go back to Western via Bleeden, and I find out about the buses here, if they're reliable. They're not frequent. Then this could also be an alternative way coming off the hills. But this bit is dodgy. This bit is dodgy. So what I'm going to do when I get down there is turn off. Because I need to have both hands. But I'm just showing you. I just want to video a little bit of that ahead of us. And turn around and look back. The reason I don't carry a stick so much, I did the other day and I never used it at all, it was just stuffed in my, tied to my bag. Um, it's because I'm usually videoing. And it's very difficult to video and have a stick as well. And in this case, walk down a slippery slope. So I'm going to turn off as soon as I get past this bit. I just want to video this last little section here. As I go down this very slippery pathway. Stony, slippery pathway. Okay, over and out everyone. <laughs>